In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert a radical expression into an expression with a rational exponent. With rational exponents, the important thing we remember is the index of the radical is the denominator of the exponent. So in this first example, when we have the fifth root of x cubed, the index becomes the denominator. Keeping the 3 as an exponent, the index of 5 becomes the denominator on our fraction, and we have x to the 3 fifths as an alternative way to write the fifth root of x cubed. Similarly, if there's more than one thing in the radical, 3x, sixth root of 3x to the fifth, we'll keep that 3x in parentheses, so we know the entire thing is affected by the exponent. And then the denominator of 6, I'm sorry, the index of 6 will become the denominator under 5. We end up with 3x to the 5 sixth power. You may also recall with prop from our properties of exponents that fractions are created by negative exponents. The negative exponent makes it 1 over the expression. So when we see something like 1 over the 7th root of a cubed, we know a must have a negative exponent, which creates the fraction. Again, the 7, the index, will become the denominator under 3, and we get a to the negative 3 sevenths as the rational exponent equivalent to 1 over the 7th root of a cubed. Let's try one more. Again, the xy in parentheses, showing the entire thing is affected by the exponent. Because we have a fraction 1 over, the exponent must be negative. And again, the denominator comes from the index. We have xy to the negative 2 thirds power. Let's try a few examples where we go the other direction, where we start with the rational exponents and we convert those into radical expressions. Here we have a to the 5 thirds. Changing it to a radical expression with a inside the radical, the denominator is what will always become our index. Don't lose the 5, that stays as an exponent on the entire thing. a to the 5 thirds is the same as the cube root of a to the 5th power. Similarly, on this next example, 2mn to the 2 sevenths power, underneath the radical, we have the 2mn. The denominator of 7 becomes the index on the radical, and the numerator of 2 stays as an exponent. When we see a negative exponent, such as x to the negative 4 fifths, we remember that negative exponents create fractions, 1 over, and then the x is under a radical, where the denominator is the index of 5, all raised to the 4th power. Notice the exponent is now a positive 4, because when we've moved it to the denominator, we no longer need the negative exponent. In this last example, xy to the negative 2 thirds power, the negative creates the fraction, 1 over, and then xy is under a radical, where the denominator, 3, is the index. And then we raise it all to the second power. Remembering that the denominator of a rational exponent is the index of a radical expression, we can quickly convert between radical form and exponent form for these problems.